Macron annoys Biden on Ukraine issue. White House sees French president as a joker in card game. French President Emmanuel Macron, during a recent telephone conversation with American leader Joe Biden, proposed sending Western forces to Ukraine to train troops in the war zone. According to Politico, the US president did not support Macron's proposal. He expressed concern about the potential consequences of sending troops from any NATO country to places where they could be in the line of fire and escalate the conflict, according to two people familiar with the conversation. It is noted that the conversation ended without any solution. As the publication points out, Biden and Macron do not agree on several important issues. The French president has planned for himself the role of a supporter of European self-sufficiency and self-determination. At the same time, the White House sees him as something of a joker in the cards, making the Biden administration nervous. Despite all the differences and 35-year age difference, the two men began to trust each other. Recently, the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Alexander Sirsky, announced that he had signed documents that would allow the first French instructors to soon visit training centers in Ukraine and become familiar with their infrastructure and personnel. Analysts say France's troop deployment could set a precedent and make it easier for other countries to follow suit. They named five options for deploying NATO troops in Ukraine. Reuters wrote that France could soon send military trainers to Ukraine despite concerns from allies and criticism from the Russian Federation. Russia continues to throw out threats against Western countries. The other day, the press secretary of the Russian embassy in France, Alexander Makogonov, threatened to hit French instructors if they were sent to Ukraine. U.S. President Joe Biden has apologized to Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky for delay in military aid to Kiev amid the ongoing war with Russia. I apologize for the weeks of not knowing what's going to pass, in terms of funding, because we had trouble getting the bill that we had to pass that had the money from some of our very conservative members who were holding it up, but we got it done, Biden said during a meeting with Zelensky in Paris on Friday. Biden also announced a new package of $225 million in weapons, including air defense interceptors, artillery ammunition and other critical capabilities to Ukraine. Furthermore, Biden reiterated full U.S. support for Ukraine. I assure you the United States is going to stand with you. We are still in, completely, he told Zelensky. The bilateral meeting follows the D-Day 80th anniversary events in Normandy. Biden in April signed a $61 billion bill to provide Ukraine with military aid. The bill was passed months after Washington said it was out of funds to provide Ukraine with weapons and other military support. The passage of deal was delayed due to dozens of Republican Congress members arguing that the government should focus on domestic problems instead. The Biden administration recently authorized Ukraine to use U.S. weapons to strike targets inside Russia near the two countries' shared border. The meeting between Biden and Zelensky comes weeks ahead of summit of peace in Ukraine to be held in Switzerland.